So my work is almost a um, defence case against homosexuality as being a kind of modern occurrence. So by pointing out your kind of uh, traditional um, master artists such as Caravaggio or Michelangelo, I have um, seen, I've tried to point it out as my homosexuality as being a kind of part of society, part of culture, part of, of religion. You know, Michelangelo painted on the Sistine Chapel ceiling. And what did he paint? Big muscular men. You know, it's, it's really kind of um, ironic in a sense. So my work started off um, working in photography and kind of mimicking gestures of paintings. Um, I had hit a point in about three months before my deadline and I, I thought I can't, I can't go any further. This is, this is the pinnacle of my work. So I pushed myself, what kind, of, what kind of boundaries can I break? So I decided to move into moving image and by doing that I've taken my work to another place and it's completely changed how my work is perceived and how I've kind of displayed my work as well. So when I exhibited in Swansea, I was given a very specific uh, space, an installation room which was dark, um, I had a, my corner and I was able to work with my corner to create an installation piece and then suddenly when we moved up to London, I was given a space in the middle of a, a lit room full of other artwork and I had to adapt, I had to adapt my work and work with that space. And I think it's so important for artists to be able to just kind of go to a, go to a space and work with it and adapt to that area.